Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Easy Ease keyframes within After Effects. So to get started, we're going to open up After Effects. And so to get started, I'm just going to create a cube. So I'm just going to go up to Layer, New, Solid. And we're just going to be creating a blue shape, basically comp size. Click OK. And so I'm just going to scale this down by selecting one of the corner points. And so we're basically making a cube because um, it's easy to demonstrate something when you have a, um, I guess, a lackluster shape. So if you just have a shape, um, and I'm trying to teach animation basics, um, then it's easier to understand than a full-blown character. So we're just going to be using a cube right here. And so basically what I'm going to be doing with this cube is I'm just going to take and move it down here. I'm going to hit P while I have it selected, and I'm going to animate the position across the screen. So I'm going to click the keyframe right here, the little stopwatch to create a keyframe. Go out to one second because I have my work area selected out to one second. Basically, you can move this around um, for your work area. So I'm going to go up to one second, and I'm going to take and move this across the screen. So I held shift and moved it across, and it created another keyframe. So now you can see we kind of have an animation. And if I hit the space bar, it will RAM preview that. So it might be getting a little glitchy there, but basically that's just the preview of it. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is duplicate this. So I'm going to hit Control D while I have it selected. And then I'm going to hit P again to open that up. And I'm going to select both keyframes. And then I'm just going to grab one of them and then hold shift and move it up. So basically now we have a copy of our cube. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to show you what the difference is when we actually change the keyframes from regular keyframes to the easy ease one. So it'll, it'll give you a better visual representation of what's changing. All right, so now we actually need to show you how to get to these keyframes. So I'm just going to scale this up so you can see it. Um, basically, it would be off screen if I didn't. So what you can do is either use shortcuts, which for most of them, they're based on the F9 key. Um, just a tip, if you are having issues when you're trying to use those shortcuts, make sure you close other programs besides After Effects because sometimes other programs will interfere with your shortcuts. So otherwise, you can take and right click on your keyframe, go down to Keyframe Assistant, and then you can see you have Easy Ease, Easy Ease In, and Easy Ease Out keyframes. All right, so from now on, um, these are going to be off screen, but I will explain which ones I'm selecting. So I'm just going to take and move that back down. So to get started, we're just going to select the bottom cube here, and that's the one that we're actually going to be modifying. So I'm just going to select the end keyframe on that, so the last point, so it's at one second. And I'm just going to right click on it, go down to Keyframe Assistant, and I'm going to select Easy Ease In. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to make it slower at the end. So you can see that there's a difference in the keyframes right here, and basically it's getting closer and closer together the more um, or the closer it gets to the end. So basically if we take and run our animation you can see that it pulls ahead in the beginning because it's moving faster at the beginning then it kind of slows down when it gets to the end. Alright so you can see it's kind of a good uh, animation if you were trying to make it kind of look like it was coming in, running and like stopping because it would kind of slow down over time it would not just stop out of nowhere. So these basically give you a more realistic feel so if your cube was kind of coming in and then stopping then this would give a better feel for that than um, if it was just stopping flat out without actually decreasing acceleration. So it kind of gives you a more realistic feel. So I'm going to turn this off by holding the control button and clicking on the keyframe. You'll see it turns to a round one and then click again and it'll turn back into your regular diamond. Now for the easy out one, I'm just going to select my first one, right click on it, go down to keyframe assistant, and then easy out. Again, these are off screen, but we're selecting easy out on this one. And so now you can zoom in here and you can see that it's basically done the same thing in the reverse uh, way. So basically now it's going to be slower at the beginning. So it's going to kind of speed up. So if something was taking off, just think um, like the road runner. Basically he kind of has to speed up at the beginning and then he takes off really fast. So he's not going to shoot out of there at full speed. He's kind of going to have to speed up a little bit and then he'll pick up speed. So basically these cubes are getting to the same point at the same time, but the way that they get there is different. So in one instance it was getting slower at the end so it was taking off faster and this one is being slower at the beginning and it's getting to the end um, faster so if I play that through you can see it kind of speeds up over time so it kind of accelerates kind of like a car would so if this was an animation of a car um, the car would be more moving more realistically um, than if it was just this top one because it actually has to accelerate up to its full speed 
All right, so basically those are the easy ease in and easy ease out keyframes. So there is one more, the easy ease keyframe that I wanted to discuss with you. So I'm just going to take and delete those and we're going to be creating a new cube. So I'm gonna go up to layer, new, and then down to solid. Again, a blue comp size solid and I'm just going to scale this down. Obviously not grabbing the corner, all right. So we're just going to make a cube and I'll make this one smaller so you guys can see it a little better and we're just going to put it at the bottom. We're actually going to make this one jump. So I'm going to go back to the very beginning of um, my timeline here. Hit P. We're going to take and click the stopwatch. Then I'm going to go about halfway and I'm going to take and move this up by holding shift and then I'm just going to take and move this to one second again copy the first keyframe and then paste it and it'll always paste where your little um, playhead is so basically right there and I'm just gonna move this to one second move that to the to the middle a little better and so basically now we have a nice little jumping cube alright so now in a realistic animation this would kind of squash and stretch and basically that's kind of like the property think like a basketball if it hits the ground it's kinda of gonna squish um, out and to the sides a little bit but just for the purpose of saving time um, we're just going to do a simple little animation like this so again I'm going to take and move this over here to the left and I'm going to duplicate this hit P so I can see those keyframes select the keyframes and then I'm just going to grab one and move it over here to the right so basically now we have a duplicate of our animation moving here so you can see both of them going up and down at the same the exact same way so basically what the easy ease keyframe is going to do is when something flies up in the air we've all seen something fly up in the air it doesn't do what these are doing it doesn't just hit the top and then automatically come back down right there's kind of a point where it goes up and then it starts to decelerate and then it'll kind of come back down and it'll start to accelerate as it comes back down so there's kind of to simulate gravity that's what we're going to be trying to do with the easy ease keyframe so what we're going to be doing is basically selecting the middle keyframe and I'm going to be doing it on the one on the right and so again just so that you guys make sure you're in the same spot as me I'm going to be right clicking on that going to keyframe assistant and then selecting easy ease now what easy ease does is it's basically a combination of the easy ease in and out so basically as this cube comes up it's going to be slowing down and then as it comes back down it's going to be speeding up alright so what that looks like is this now that cube on the right looks like it's in a way better bouncing position than the one on the left. So that animation is much more believable. So that's kind of what these easy ease keyframes are all about, is making your animations look more believable, more realistic than just using straight keyframes. So again, the one on the right is the one that's using the easy ease keyframe. So I hope you guys learned something today. These are definitely keyframes that you should be using within your After Effects projects. Um, just, it's, it's amazing how turning one of them to an easy ease keyframe just seeing how it looks can completely change the feeling of your project so I would definitely recommend playing with them so you can kind of get an idea of when you need to use them and when you don't so if you guys learned something don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I will see you next week with a new video tutorial thanks for watching